Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in this one I'm going to be showing you the best Greninja build for raids in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. If you're watching this video the day it comes out, then you will be able to get your Greninja. If you don't have a Greninja, it will be back in two weeks from when this video releases, or you could trade someone for it. So we're going to be using the Water Terra type on our Greninja, and we're going to be using the Metronome as our held item. If you did catch it from the event, it will be a Poison type Terra. Let me show you where to change it. So to change it, you want to fly over to Medali East. Once you're over here, just go forward jump to the left over these little trees and you want to go in this restaurant you want to go to the top and speak to this chef right here you will need 50 shards to change to any of the types now as for the metronome our held item let me show you where to get that real quick so what you want to do is you want to fly over to lavincia north once you're here you want to head in this direction and there will be a deli bird shop right here once you're inside i want you to click battle items scroll down to the metronome it will cost you fifteen thousand. now what the metronome does if we use a move let's say we use surf we're at 100 percent power but if we use it again on the second turn in a row and we don't miss either time it will then be 120 percent damage because you've used it twice in a row in succession then if you use it a third time in a row it will be 140 percent and then 160 percent 180 percent and 200 percent it maxes out at. now as soon as you get out of the deli bird trap and lavincia you should be right here i want you to turn right and there should be a black and green shop right over here it will look like this and it will have a transit on the front of it now i want you to buy an adamant mint from the shop for twenty thousand poker dollars that's the nature we're going to be using this will boost our attack and decrease our special attack we will be using a physical attacking greninja as you can see right there and our evs are going to go into hp and attack now if you did catch the mightiest might greninja then your greninja will have max ivs if you got this greninja through trading or through breeding or something like that chances are it doesn't have max ivs so to get max ivs you will need bottle caps and to get bottle caps you will go into any deli bird presence there's one in each of the main cities click on general goods and they will sell them for twenty thousand each once you've got your bottle caps you fly over to montenever once you're over here just head over this way to the guy with the obama snow and then you would click the pokemon you want to hyper train as you can see it says greninja is so strong it doesn't need hyper training the main ivs you want to train are hp attack defense special defense and speed but if you have the money i would say hyper hyper train special attack as well because even though we have down in special attack we do actually have a special attack we just will barely ever use it now our ability is going to be torrent unfortunately if you do have the mightiest might greninja it will have its hidden ability so you will need an ability patch to revert back to torrent but you get an ability patch with the first time you complete the greninja raid now basically what torrent does is when you're on 33 percent or below of your hp you get a 50 percent bonus on all water type moves so that mixed with the stat and the terror you will be outputting a lot of damage now our moves are going to be liquidation swords dance chilling water and shadow sneak now liquidation will be our main attacking move it will do a lot of damage and it may also lower the target's defense that's going to be the best water type move you can get it's great now swords dance is the reason we are using a physical greninja it raises your attack stat by two stages every time you use it now the reason we're using chilling water even though we're a physical attacker if we come against a really strong physical attack we can use chilling water once at the start of the raid this will decrease its damage output by a lot and we can keep attacking it get our terrestrialization while it's doing no damage to us shadow sneak is there in case we're on like 30 or less hp and they have a priority move and we can move first with shadow sneak or we need it to get our extra terror charge and we're about to die unfortunately shadow sneak is the only move we actually learn through level up the other three moves we will need tms for if you don't know where to get tms you can go to the pokemon center it is the green part of the tm machine so starting off with liquidation which is tm 110 we will need 10,000 lp five aracuda scale three wiglet sands and three weasel furs now i'm going to show you where to get these items right now now to get aracuda we're going to put a waypoint right here and we're going to fly over to paco path lighthouse and then we're just going to make our way over once you get over here you will find your aracuda they are small so you'll have to keep an eye out and you can just get the scales now once you've got your aracuda scales i want you to put a waypoint right here we're just going to be swimming over it's not that far so once you get to this beach area you will see that there's a lot of wiglet on shore be careful not to scare them though because they will duck down and you won't be able to get the scales best way to do this is just crouch and send your pokemon after them and it will just take them out and you'll get your wiglet sand as for our weasel fur the place where you got the wiglet there will be weasel as well so you just want to take them out you find all three in roughly the same spot so it's very nice and then you can just get your weasel fur moving on to tm 88 swords dance we will need 5000 lp three zangu's claw three gibble scales 
and three cypher claws now to get your zangus claws i want you to put a waypoint right around here fly over to the shrine if you've got it or the next nearest pokemon center and then you can just make your way over so mine spawned around this area right here it can be a bit hard to find sometimes but once you do find it you can just kill it and then you will get your zangus claws you will also find survivor in the same area not the best idea if you ask me being mortal enemies in that next up is our gibble scales we're going to put a waypoint right here and we're going to fly over to alpha nada once you're at the pokemon center did you see that cave i want you to make your way over there and then we're just going to make our way down to the bottom we're just going to follow the path until we actually see a gibble or a gabite we're not too far in the cave and a group of them has spawned you just want to get them and then you can get your gibble scales next up is cypher claw so we're going to put a waypoint right here and fly over to medali east and then just make your way over there now what i like to do is i like to go to where there's a lot of trees around here and search around this area for cypher if at any point you can't find a pokemon don't be afraid to use encounter power sandwiches now that we have our cypher claws let's move on to chilling water moving on to tm22 chilling water we need 3000 lp three psyduck downs and three surskit syrup now to get psyduck you want to put a waypoint here and fly over to the Paco path lighthouse and then you just want to make your way over here and there should be a few psyducks around this little bridge here you just want to take them out and get your psyduck downs after you've done that we're going to put a waypoint right here and fly over to mesa goes south and then you just want to jump down here and on this water right around here you will find your surskits and you can get your surskit syrups now that we've gone over the build let's get into some raids okay so we found our first raid it's a five star fire type magnazone let's begin we've got to be careful of the thunderbolt slash thunder here first turn we're going to use sales dance this will raise our attack to plus two we do get hit with the thunder wave but if we remove it then it's just going to keep paralyzing us so i don't see the point so we're just going to go straight into liquidation we are faster than it even though we've been slowed we do get the defense drop on the liquidation it uses fundable does just under half and it steals some of our terror charge that's not good we're gonna go for a liquidation again we do break through the paralysis again and it hits us with a try attack its shield goes up we're in a pretty good position right now it removes the negative effects from itself now i attack with another liquidation we've been quite lucky not to get paralyzed yet and we get the defense drop we break through again with a liquidation and get another defense drop and now we're doing a lot of damage because the metronome is stacking up so now we're in torrent range as well we're not going to terrestrialize just in case that happens so we couldn't move uh, we get hit again we're on 12 health hopefully we get one more attack before we go down we do get another attack let's see how much damage it does it does a lot of damage because of torrent and we manage to break the shield as it nullifies all our stats but that doesn't matter and then it kills us off with a thunderbolt when we come back we're just going to terrestrialize and then finish it off with a liquidation so we terrestrialize and now we can use liquidation and that should finish the job off which it does and magnazone goes down not a bad first raid considering we was weak to the magnazone and we was paralyzed all game our second raid is going to be a five star fire type tatsagiri let's get it started so we're going to start off turn one with a swords dance to put our attack on plus two it uses counter we're just going to use swords dance again so we're on plus four attack it uses counter again might have a bit of fun with this raid if it's just going to use counter we're going to use a swords dance for a third time so now we're on max attack let's try and one shot it so we're going to use liquidation see how much damage we do we nearly one shot it and it uses counter and kills us i should have used an attack cheer and then attacked maybe so we're going to use liquidation do a bit of damage use a counter doesn't kill us though we're going to go all out and use our attack cheer because i know it's going to use counter and because we're in torrent range this should kill now this liquidation which it does and that's the tatsugiri down counter is a bit scary against physical attackers onto the third raid now for those of you who have made it this far i'm going to put a fun little extra build in here for greninja before we actually start our third raid now this is another way of playing greninja i wouldn't recommend it unless you just wanted to have fun but if you put a life orb instead of metronome on greninja and then put rain dance instead of chilling water you can actually use free swords dance then rain dance and then use liquidation and you will do a ton of damage and probably one shot but there's a lot of ways that they can counter this like if they use taunt if they use disable if they nullify your stats and stuff like that back to the normal build so we found our third raid it is a five star fire type cloister let's start it up now first turn we are going to use swords dance to get that attack up it uses supersonic to confuse us however we're going to take our chances and go for liquidation as it starts using ice shard do we break the confusion no it does a ton of damage to us i believe though we can do this and second turn we managed to break the confusion and deal a little bit of damage and reduce that defense it uses high 
hydro pump, but we dodge and then it steals terror charge. We're still confused on the third turn, but we break through and use liquidation. We put it on about half health and get another defense drop. And then it uses hydro pump on us, doesn't do too much damage because we're a water type. And then it activates its shield. It removes all negative effects from itself. Surely we break out of confusion. We're confused for a fourth turn in a row. We break through. How much damage is it doing? Not a lot. It uses icicle spear on us. We snap out of confusion finally and use liquidation. After that attack, we get a defense drop and we get our terrestrialization we're just going to terrestrialize because this pokemon is actually very good for us because it's a water and ice type and they're both not very effective against us so we terrestrialize and it's time to do a lot of damage hopefully this attack will break the shield we use liquidation it does break the shield and nearly kills it just straight up actually so one more attack and we will have completed the raid it uses hydro pump and then it uses shell smash because it's on really low hp but it doesn't matter because we use liquidation to finish the job and the cloister goes down gotta say this greninja is a lot of fun speaking of fun go check out this balloon build that i'm gonna put on screen right now it's so wrong for all the right reasons and i'll catch you on the next one